Morning guys, excuse the dancing. Just having a little um, drum and bass rave in my headphones, you know what I mean? Practicing for when I go raving hopefully this month, if I get my passport back. I'm meant to go this weekend as well, but I don't know if I'm gonna get in. I've emailed the place, but I don't think they're gonna let me in with a photo of my passport. So gutted. So I'm just having some tinned peaches and oats. Good combination if you haven't tried it before. Had a really good session. I felt strong. I definitely lifted heavier with my upper body than usual. It was a pull day, so it was like back, shoulders, biceps. I feel busted after that workout. But yeah, sorry I'm coming to you from my room again. I just feel like this is the place I wanna be most of the time at the moment. It's kind of hard to vlog anywhere else because obviously I'm not alone and there's just like constant noise and stuff. And also, I don't know if you guys watch my stories lately, but there's been works going on all morning so I haven't vlogged until now. I won't be surprised if they start any minute now. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? That's with the windows closed as well. But yeah, I think today I'm gonna head over to Westfield. I'm going to get some thermals from Uniqlo, woo! <laughs> Cause it's frigging cold. Maybe have a look around for a few Christmas presents. We don't really do like huge presents or anything with between my friends and like family and stuff. I'm way too old for that shit anyway. <laughs> but I just wanna go and get a few bits and bobs. I wanna pop into weekday. I love weekday so much. I think it's one of my favorite shops. I do wanna shoot, but it's just so cold. I don't have the patience for it. So I might just do like some indoor stuff today. I'm so tired, I feel like I need a nap. <laughs> Oh, I started my period today, that's probably why. I'm truly having one of those days where I feel like doing nothing today. My period has me absolutely slumped. But I just heard a knock on the door, I was just lying in bed watching videos. Uh, excuse me, I don't know what is going on with the burps right now. I think it's my new septum jewellery. And I always get questions about my septum jewellery and my nose ring. They're both from sellers on Amazon. I wanted to go for a new shape. I saw it on someone recently, I think. It might have just been like on... Um, What's it called? A Pinterest or something? It's like the teardrop kind of shape, the pointed septum. And I just thought it looked so pretty and so feminine. And it would just make a nice change from this shape. So I actually got it from the same sellers that I got this one from. It's a hammered septum ring and I just love the way it catches the light. And it looks so kind of like raw. So I thought I would get... <gasps> I'm in love. Jewelry from the same people because I just love what they do. And it is solid gold as well, so it doesn't go all like manky or tarnish or anything. It's from Moonly Designs. And I actually got one for my boyfriend as well because he's got his septum pierced. It's got him a silver hammered one. <gasps> That's gonna look so nice on him. And then, oh, this is so pretty. This is mine. So as you guys can see, it's more of like a teardrop shape. I did get it in the same diameter as this, so hopefully it looks cute. Do you know what? I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if it's just because I'm so used to having a round one in or if it's because I need to get like a shorter one. But that was such a hassle to get in. I'm going to leave it in for now and see if I get used to it. But yeah, I don't know. It just looks a bit big. I feel like I need it to be a bit shorter. Let me know what you guys think anyway. As always, I'll link everything down below. So if you guys are looking for some septum jewellery, then... Just check the description box. I keep finding Pierre's hair on me today, even though I'm wearing all, all stuff that I didn't own when he was still alive. And obviously I've like thoroughly cleaned the flat and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's super weird, but it's kind of nice. It's like he's trying to tell me that he's, why am I so emotional? It's like he's trying to tell me that he's still with me, which is, yeah, it's cute. I'm gonna go now before I burst into tears. <laughs> lighting in here is so ugly <laughs> like lie down for it to not look so bad back home now absolutely pooped i swear the cold just kills me off kills me off having a snack we're trying the tomato and basil flavor hummus chips kind of into them imagine the cheek of this right i'm in uniqlo trying to pick up my thermals the only ones in my size were way too high up to be able to reach so i go to look for a member of staff and they're all kind of rude first of all then i managed to ask a woman I was like, is it possible for somebody to get those down for me, please? She has the cheek to go to me. Okay, but are you actually gonna buy them? 
Excuse me? No, I just I just want you to, just for kicks, get a ladder and take those down for me. How rude is that though? I don't know, man, that pissed me off. I also managed to book a consultation for Botox in a place in Westfield today. I'll bring you guys along with me if I can. Good morning guys, I am up and ready for the day. Ready to go shoot. I think, is this the first time you see me with a full face of makeup on? Probably. I'm gonna do this look for you guys very soon because I've been getting a lot of questions about my brows and my new makeup routine. But yeah, I'm off to shoot. I wanna try and get this shot before midday because I usually like to post at midday. I feel so out of practice. It's been such a long time, like, and I shoot everything by myself with a tripod. So I'm a little bit nervous because it is always kind of awkward having to shoot in front of people, but I might be, I might be like a little bit sneaky and just go in the car park today so I don't have to actually expose myself. Especially because it's not super early, so there will be more people about. But I thought I'd bring you along with me. Let's do it fuming. My usual wall's taken, so I'm gonna try against this one. It's probably not gonna look as good, but. I'm in here. There's loads of people. I'm so cozy right now. I don't want to take my um my jacket off. I love it. I don't know if you guys remember this jacket. It's a few years old. I worked with Napa Piri probably like a couple of years ago. Maybe a bit longer than that. I pulled it out of the cupboard today because I was like, I need a black Napa jacket. I just ordered a cropped one and then I pulled this out and I was like, this is beautiful. Look that. Oh, it's so nice. It's super warm and it's um, like sustainable as well. Got like uh, synthetic downs in there, I think. So it's like nice to the planet as well. I just got an ASOS order in. I've got a few bits in actually, but I thought I'd share with you. Basically, I wanted to get some joggers to match my green hoodie because I want a green set. So I did a little search on ASOS and I came across these, which don't match, but I just wanted them so bad. They're so cool. They were in the men's section. They're by Jaded. But I feel like these are sick and I think they'll be really good for just chilling around the house, but also like sick for an outfit as well and nice and cozy and warm. So hopefully they fit well. They're a size small, but they seem pretty oversized, which I like. So yeah, and I really like that the drawstring is like that kind of thick cottony material but I'll try them on so you guys can see I found some green joggers just plain ones from Unisex uh, from Unisex from Collusion which is a brand that I absolutely love so hopefully they'll fit quite well I think I had to get these in large because that was the only size they have left but because there's a drawstring hopefully they'll fit quite well color matches like slightly off this is a bit darker but I feel like I can get away with it I think it will look cute look like a little Christmas tree Oh, I might as well open the last couple of days of advent calendars as well. Am I right? Am I right? So for Kiehl's day two and day three, we have got the Hydro Plumping Serum Concentrate. That is so cute. It's tiny. Then we have the Super Multi Corrective Cream, which I love. And it's super nice for this time of year because it's really thick, but it's not like, it doesn't leave loads of residue on your face and stuff, but it leaves your skin feeling really like, plump and hydrated and just calm so love that for asos day two we have the Pore Pore rich mocha balm i haven't seen this one before but i have used this for a long time i think i discovered this when i went to australia with sam that's good always need new lip balms my lips are forever dry oh my god you guys are wonky are you drunk oh for lips cheeks and cosmetic finishing actually i want to see what the color is oh may have squeezed out a little too much it's fragrance free as well so it's like super gentle that's cool. Oh my God, that's such a nice color. It's like a brown with a hint of plum. Oh, I really look forward to using that. That would make a really nice blush as well. Ooh, number three. I'm intrigued to see what this one is actually. Ooh, I think it's a hair serum. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've tried anything from Beauty Works yet. I believe this is the brand that Molly May works with quite a lot. Hmm, very interesting. I mean, my hair can always do with more oil. Oh wait, there's a cute little comb in there as well. I'm gonna tidy up first. I'm gonna try those tracky bottoms on for ya. And for myself, I'm kind of excited to see what they look like on. I think they're gonna look really cool. And it give me another outfit to shoot at.
Okay, wait, I love these. They're a bit shorter than I thought they'd be though. I know which trainers I'm gonna wear and move. Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah baby. I really like those. They're so cute. I've got my Uniqlo thermals underneath, so I'm nice and cozy. These are sick. What do you guys think? I love them. If I gave you my heart, you could tear it apart. And if I... Oh, it's all deliveries today, guys. It's all deliveries today. I have no idea what this one's going to be, but we shall see. My homies, they sent me some gin. Look at this wreath, you guys. Who is this from? Is this from them as well? It must be. This is beautiful. Thank you so much, Malfi. This is actually beautiful. It's massive. Look at the size of that. I'm gonna have to find somewhere to put that. Oh, the Christmas decorations shall begin soon, they shall. You guys know I love Malfi. I have worked with them, but I actually do drink gin. I think it's a French thing because like so many people I know don't like gin. This is where I need to be right now. Okay, not not in cold England, right here. Sipping on some of this. I'm really glad actually because I needed a top up. Of, <laughs> I needed a top up of the. I can't speak. <laughs> I needed a top up of this one because this got finished during my birthday. Potentially, if I'm going out tomorrow, this may be my drink of choice. So please, at mine. I'm so excited. Bloody hell, guys, the door's ringing again. What could it be? Oh my god, please be my passport. A Christmas present. Hey, my babes. So, it's a few hours later. I've just come back from my appointment. And before you guys go, Natasha, you didn't take us. I wanted to. Um, had a bit of a weird man encounter in Westfield just before I went in. So that set my anxiety off. He just decided to shout legs at me. He was like, oh, legs. So, okay, thanks for making me feel really uncomfortable for just like breathing air. Anyway, I went into the clinic. I had a lovely doctor called Mihai um, deal with my treatment. He was super friendly, put me at ease, told me a bit about his background and stuff. I actually went to therapy clinic in Westfield, Stratford. Really reasonably priced as well. I ended up getting Botox in my jaw. And as always, the doctors are always really surprised at how strong my jaw actually is. Um, and my right side is actually bigger as well. Got a bit of an imbalance. I think due to a lot of things, really bad wisdom teeth for years, which caused me to like, use one side of my jaw a lot more to like chew and stuff because the other side was so painful and then obviously with my anxiety and stuff as well I've been grinding my teeth a lot at night and I wake up and it's all like I feel like my gums at the back are really swollen I can taste blood in my mouth when I wake up sometimes and my jaw's always like really stiff so yes I did that and I also decided to get a lid just a teeny bit on my crow's feet I think genetically in my family like my mum has them my cousin has them and we always have like even if you look at pictures of me as a kid I've always had crow's feet but um, I just got a little bit in there. I didn't want to get rid of them completely, but I just got a little bit in there just to kind of help my face like relax a little bit because I'm a bit like over expressive. And I also just prefer it being a little bit more smooth for when I like apply makeup and stuff. And I think he said that having that done will give me like a little bit of a brow lift as well, which I can't complain about. I mean, there's, you know, nothing wrong with having a little slightly, slightly higher brow. I think it'll be a matter of millimeters, but yeah. If you guys see my jaw is quite square. You see that? Yeah, I've got really strong jaw muscles and it's painful. So hopefully this will give me a little bit of relief. I'm gonna go back for a checkup in about a month just to see how we're getting on. It's mainly for the jaw. I just did the eyes for the, cause why not? But yeah, I just hope this will relieve some of the pain and the headaches and stop me from clenching my jaw so much or as hard at night. I'll keep you guys updated, but just to show you guys what my face looks like now. I'm so glad I didn't, take you guys in with me but i did ask how he felt about filming but he said he'd rather not he'd like rather have somebody else filming it for me rather than me holding the camera whilst he's doing it which is completely fair enough like i completely respect his decision a lot of doctors don't want you to film the process and i completely understand that i have no issue with that at all so i'm sorry i didn't bring you guys with me but rules are rules but i can show you at least you know the results and stuff and i'm sure you guys will notice over the next few weeks just hopefully my jaw kind of chilling a little bit in my mouth not moving so weird i also got one of these 
had to do it. I should probably take my hair out for it. I remember when I was a kid, my mum used to make me wear these to primary school. I think it was like quite a French thing. She used to make me wear it. It was basically a balaclava and I used to be so embarrassed, but now look how full circle everything's come. I actually want to wear one now. She's gonna die, like she is going to absolutely lose her shit when she sees me wearing one of these. Well, that's a real egg if I ain't ever seen one before. I proper look eggy, don't I? Is that weird? I don't know, I like it, it's warm. <laughs> I am woman, I am fearless. I am sexy, I'm divine. I'm, I'm, how's it go? I'm creative, I'm unstoppable. You can get in line. If you got the, got the, got the, got the, got the. Ooh, I got this really big grey one as well. I'm just trying to be cozy as fuck, all right? I don't, if I look like an egg, I look like an egg. I'm gonna look like a sexy egg. I'm gonna do my makeup and look like a friggin' sexy egg, okay? Create Oh, I like this one. It's really big. I'm unstoppable. You can get in line. Oh my god. <laughs> 